Hello. All right. We're good. I'm just cheating a little bit. I have fewer slides, so. <laughs> All right. Hit it. All right, guys. Um, so the talk is about uh, so Peko Karanev. Uh, I've given a few talks on monitoring, a, a few other topics. Um, we we'll the open space a little bit there. But right now, I wanted to talk something that's not necessarily uh, a technology or something technical oriented. So we'll talk about biz, biz ops for entrepreneurs. Not entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, but how many of you guys are entrepreneurs? Everyone, right? You guys are building stuff. You're having fun doing it. And um, really, the talk, the talk is relevant to both startups and upstarts. So startups are you're going out there, getting funding, building something cool. Upstarts are you're working in a company and you're trying to innovate. You're trying to create something new, maybe a new product, new business. How many startups? A few. How many upstarts? All right. We have the right audience. Um, so what's the source of energy for your startup or your upstart? Think about it. What really drives what, what you do on a daily basis? What, what, what makes your business really work? So cash, users, anybody else? Ideas, passion. I think all these are valid, but uh, my thesis is uh, that it's not cash. You know, cash is, uh, in other words, the VC coming with you with a bag of money uh, doesn't mean that you're going to create a good product or a service that actually works. It also doesn't mean, mean that it's going to motivate your team long term to do what they need to do to, uh, to persevere. So in my thesis here is uh, the VC is not the sun. You know, it's not the true source of energy here. Somebody said ideas. OK. Ideas inspire people. Um, but ideas by themselves, I also would say, are not the sun. There are a lot of ideas that are cool that never see the light of day or get implemented or connect. Right? Uh, they're all important. I'm not saying that VC money is not important or that ideas are not important. They're all important, but uh, I would say they're, uh, they're means to an end, and they're not the true source of making your upstart or startup really uh, take off. I would claim it's the customer. So uh, I claim that the customer is the, the sun for your, for your startup or upstart. Why is that? Well, um, you know, ultimately, through my career, every time I've focused on ideas or money or even building a team, without that sun and that energy coming to you, um, things that really don't pan out well for a variety of reasons. So here I'm going to share some ideas on how I've seen that customer energy really drive what we do, uh, that passion. So how do you absorb customer energy? So, you know, uh, Barton earlier talked about his success with Sputnik, and I've, uh, I've observed that for, you know, four or five years now. So first, be transparent and receive that customer feedback, right? Uh, when you share your roadmaps, when you discuss ideas, there's no point of kind of holding back. Um, when you're building product, also uh, kind of focus on listening versus, you know, listening to understand versus listening to try to object or, you know, uh, you know give, give feedback. So just active listening. In terms of marketing, no one cares your, about your top line message. So everyone cares what your customers are doing and how you made them successful. So bring that front and center in your marketing. Uh, kind of engage the community, engage customers, and, and really kind of put yourself kind of behind uh, the customer voice. And when it comes down to sales, so kind of when you're doing your demos and when you're getting in front of customers, really try to understand their pain. Again, listen actively. Uh, there's no reason to uh, try to push features or, you know, here's how the widgets work. Like try to relate to what they're doing on a daily basis and explain to them how you can help them. Again, build those relationships. It's not about the transaction or getting another lead. And again, in your strategy or whatever you do in every aspect of your business, become customer first in every aspect. And uh, again, do with purpose. Um, 
the product, the cash, the fame, it's all a result of serving and helping a customer or a customer community become successful. And again, for my career, every time I've been uh, challenged to move away from that point, it, it hasn't turned out well. Every time the customer is there and I focus on where the energy is coming from and, and where the sun is, I've realigned and make products successful, lasting, and teams happy. So that's my feedback.